This is a rare sighting. <laughs> I would have to agree with you. How does it feel to be back on the bike? I'm so glad that it, that thing is true. You never forget how to, how to ride a bike. For the most part, right? For the most part. <laughs> Oh, no wonder there's so much poop on the ground because of these guys. Hey guys, did you know that this isn't really a place for you all to hang out and poop and eat grass? Almost fell over my bike. <laughs> Glad uh, you didn't. Here we are, 48 years old. And it just hit me. I want to live another 40 years. So in order to do that, I think I got to get back in shape. I don't know about you, but aging just sneaks up on you. That's how I feel. It seems like just yesterday I was playing competitive volleyball. <laughs> but that was like over a decade ago. So the year before dude turned 50, he all of a sudden started being mindful of his health and uh, started working out again. You know those little Asian ladies that you see at the bus stop and they're swinging their arms in all sorts of directions and it doesn't look like they're doing much of anything but seemingly they're exercising. Well, dude started doing that at home and I'm like, oh my goodness, you become one of those little Asian ladies. <laughs> When I was in my 20s, a personal trainer once shared with me that if I work out, I can eat whatever I want. But now, over the years, I continue to eat what I want, but the exercise has kind of gone downhill. And I am less active than I was in my 20s. Some viewers have made comments about uh, dude and his weight and wonder why he isn't 300 pounds because of what I cook and if you follow our cooking videos you know that I don't skimp when I cook and you may think that we eat bacon every day which we love bacon but we're not eating it every day if we were we may be 300 pounds mm. for some people maybe seeing our lives on YouTube is a reality for them but in reality we try to portion control. We don't eat out all the time. We're not eating fried food all the time, even though we talk about it every now and then. And certainly we are not eating bacon every day. I still stick to, you know, because we enjoy food so much that, yes, we can eat whatever we want so long as there's moderation and there's exercise. And I've come to the realization that I need to get my body back into some sort of state where I can continue to do that because of my love for food. I think it's kind of hilarious when uh, viewers comment and say, dude, how come you're not, you know, however many thousand pounds, whatever. <laughs> and the fact of the matter is that as I've gotten older, I just I just stop when I've had enough. So I, it's not intentional portion control where I go in and say and say I'm only going to have you know half a piece of this size steak and a certain amount of vegetables and whatnot. I just haven't had to do that. My body has just said, you know what, uh, that's enough. You should probably stop. You know, I feel full enough. I feel content and satisfied just gonna stop and maybe have some chips later <laughs> chips are my weakness I like a certain type of chip and I buy a bag for myself and it's often gone before I even get to it when Flo doesn't buy any chips then like I don't I don't miss them but when we we're shopping together at the supermarket and oh look chips are on sale three four whatever those are the times when I have to say no I'm good I'm good I'm good I'm good I'm not saying that flow is you know, <laughs> I'm not I don't have as much willpower so I do buy the chips but for me is if the chips are at home I can say no but he can't mm -hmm. we have been given one body 
and it is our responsibility to take care of this body that God has given us to the best of our ability. We don't know what our future holds, but surely we can live healthier to take care of these mm -hmm. bodies so that we can live another 40 years yeah. so that we can keep up with our kids. They're getting older and stronger. And I, if we want to keep doing stuff and doing activities with them, we're going to have to step it up. Yeah. When you push ourselves a little bit, we can totally feel it, especially if we haven't been keeping up our exercises. And it makes a huge difference uh, when we can. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so we just wanted to share what we've been doing to get started. And I went back to the gym about two weeks ago, going every other day. So three times a week, I'm at the gym. I get on the bike for a little bit. I do some strength training and I do um, ab exercises and then I do some stretching and that takes me about an hour at the gym. I work out, uh, I've been working out primarily with friends. So a couple of friends that have been awesome accountability partners. And one of them is a, an encouragement to me, especially because like dude is all like ripped and like what you should be in movies you know but he's got such an enthusiasm for staying fit and for the focus and the intensity uh, not for personal vanity or anything like that he wants to stay healthy for his family he wants to do those things that he loves doing with his family well into the later years mm -hmm. and you can't do that without setting up a foundation without starting somewhere so we want to be an encouragement to you as well and to help you get out there to do something. We all have to start somewhere. So whether it's going for a walk for 10 minutes after dinner or getting on your bike and going for a ride or even just stretching, we can all stretch, right? As I mentioned earlier, dude's been doing these Chinese exercises to get the blood flowing and he tried to get me to do them for a while wasn't my thing but and that shout out goes out to Gerald my workout mentor uh, he is not a personal fitness trainer uh, but he's got a lot of experience and results personal results to back it up and one of the things that he showed me when I first started working out with him was were these exercises that I'd always mocked those old Chinese people at the bus stops, he explained it this way, when you do those exercises, it gets the blood flow moving, the circulation going, and it stretches out the muscles at the same time. Keeps the muscles limber, and those joints limber. You know what? I still do it when I go to the gym with flow, and I don't know if I look like one of those old, I am. You are one of those little old Asians at the bus stop, just not at a bus stop. So that's just a little bit of what we're doing to start trying to live a more healthy lifestyle. But we just wanted to clarify that we're not experts in this arena, in this subject. So before you start on any strenuous exercises, make sure you consult with your doctor. Mm -hmm. It's easy to fall into a sedentary lifestyle and we're just sharing what we've been doing to try to get out of it. So please let us know in the comments below what you've been doing to stay fit and how we can be an encouragement to you. Let's encourage one another. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful. Let's race. What? <laughs>